someone struck a nerve. Oh, someone struck a nerve. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Angel Reese, but let's jump on in. Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Proud to come on now the podcast where we talk facts over feelings. Be sure to check out our partner, VetUS. Get your bonuses. Get your bets in. Click the link in, in the description of this video to get on BetUS and place your bets. We appreciate your we appreciate you doing that if you are into gambling. But yeah, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. Greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell, become a member. Angel Reese has been quite kind of quiet over the last month or so, month or two. You haven't heard too much from her. I know she still has her podcast going on where she's, I don't know, getting a little bit weird with Mikey Williams. Just odd. I, I just, I truly do not understand the purpose of her podcast. It's it's un- utterly ridiculous. Um, I saw a couple of clips where it seems like she's hitting on this kid. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, he's not six seven, so I guess she's not interested. But I don't know what it is about talking about dating life with everybody. It's just it's just kind of stupid. But nonetheless, she's been rather quiet for the most part while she rehabs her wrist and posts up a video of her making one jump shot with the ball coming out of her hip pocket, which means it'll probably get blocked if someone actually tries to defend it. But on Tuesday, she shared a post from December 2023 by Asked, you know, from a, by a women's basketball account, asking fans if she was a first round pick. And the majority of the voters answered no. Now, I would not have answered no because I know what women's basketball has and I do know what she can bring to, the, to a team. Did I think that it would out? Did she out? Did she do more than I expected her to do last year? Absolutely, for sure, for sure. No question about it. I thought those possibilities she could get cut. You know, because I don't find her to be very skilled. You know, I, offensively, she has no skills. I think we've all established that by now. I mean, the only person who might have less skills than her offensively looks like Ben Simmons right about now, where that man can't make a layup either, and he's six foot ten. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, it, it, it's one of those things where yeah, I thought she'd be drafted in the first round, but I also thought there was possibly she could get cut. But she did overperform, over deliver on, on this season. And she's just one of those individuals that seems to need to get into something with somebody because she feels herself losing spotlight. She feels like no one's paying attention to her. So she has to do something to bring your eyes back to her. She kind of reminds me of LeBron James. But she reminds me of LeBron James and the fact that LeBron James has to find a way to keep himself in the spotlight. I think in large part, that's why LeBron James is not going to retire anytime soon, no matter what he says, because you think he might retire, but he also talks about it so much that he wants you to remember, like, I'm going to retire at some point. So you better appreciate me while I'm here. Right. So he, he pulls that type of card where you think, okay, he might retire in a year, but then his ego is too much. And he's still playing at too high of a level that unless his body says enough is enough, do you think he's really going to retire anytime soon? I, I, he just can't stand not having the attention. And that's Angel Reese. She needs the attention. No matter how she, no matter how she has to go to get it, it's never organic. It's always manufactured. Her attention has always been manufactured from her this and this, all that stuff is manufactured attention. None of it's real. So some one person replied and knocked knocked her on her missed layups. Says, you realize you can't make a layup on the first try most times, right? Or critic report, r- wrote in a response to her latest post. And she responded. Maybe I need to start commenting on Twitter or replying to her stuff because maybe I can get blocked by her as well like I I was by DJ A. Carrington. She replies, do you realize I got drafted seventh in my class while missing layups as a rookie, shooting 39% on the year and was still an all-star, and that was the worst you'll ever see me? Or you just laid up with your dog at home hating Adam? The guy's name was Adam. Now. 
Let's respond to her comment. Yes, you got drafted number seven. You were not the first choice for the team that drafted you. They drafted Camilla Cardoso first. You're acknowledging that you missed layups. You're acknowledging you shot 39% for the field. And you're acknowledging that you were still an all-star. What does that say about your league? That someone who shot 39%, and at the time I think she may have been shooting 40%, 41%. What does that say about the WNBA? That someone who shoots that poorly from the field can look that inept offensively, can still make the all-star team. But we also know why she made the all-star team. It has nothing to do with her play. It has to do with the fact that she has a fan, a fan base. Unlike Caitlin Clark, who has a fan base, Caitlin Clark can play at a very high level, at probably the highest level in the league. Whereas Angel Reese, she can rebound. She can create a, a, full rec, a full record based on stat padding and shoot so poorly that she can create rebounds for herself. So she's saying that, and she says that's the worst we'll ever see of her. She better save that tweet. She better save it. Because if she shoots anywhere around 40% next season, this will be brought back up. Because you don't go from 39% to 40%. You better go from 39% to about 45% because you're still a 6'3 big. And you're still going to have tons of layup opportunities. And it's on you to complete them and, 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 and you know, obviously execute the bucket. But she better be better than 40% because she's saying it's the worst you'll ever see of her. Well, I have a feeling. I have a feeling of a couple of things. I have a feeling that she will get better offensively, but I also have a feeling that her rebounding numbers will come down. They'll come down because all those opportunities that were created by her own misses and her own shots that got blocked back into her hands will no longer be rebounds. But I think it's rather sad that you're responding to this. You need attention. I, I can only imagine how many responses were on this. In fact, if I, I look at it, I see there were 2,800 replies to this post. And she found this guy, Adam, who took a crack at her. I'm going to guess that a lot of these replies were probably kissing her ass. <clears throat> Here is someone who wrote, here's someone who else replied. Oh, wow, well, wow. Okay, let, let's, let, let's go back. I'm sorry. This is the response. This is how many replies are to her response to this guy, Adam. Here's a comment. An all, a, a all-star. Remember, that's her grammar. She said, well, still a all-star. A all-star. No wonder your ass had a 1.5 GPA. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Another one, shooting 39% is not a brag. It's a pretty, it's pretty bad for your position. Another one, missing layups and shooting 39% while being a all-star isn't the flex you think it is. 39% on layups because that's all y'all, all you did. Willingly admitting you shot 39% almost all in the paint is rough. Buddy, you should delete this. You got no shame and it's hilarious. Damn, no wonder your salary not paying your rent. 39% LMAO. You say missing layups like you don't literally miss layups back to back to back. Here comes the first knife. Cook him, queen. Yes, talk that talk. We coming for this chip this year. Someone else said, no, no, no English taught at LSU. Oh, Adam replied. Oh, shit. Adam replied. Adam says, uh, I do. You got drafted high for a reason, but you still brick tons of layups, LOL. Your field goal percentage is inflated because you put up a ton of putbacks, but I hope to see you progress as a player and succeed. Also, coming at my dog is weird. He doesn't play basketball. He could have been an asshole to her, and he wasn't. She was an asshole to him. He could have come back and been an asshole. And there's 225 replies to that. I don't want to get into that. But here's the one that said, you responded. You already lost. 
Are you flexing 39%, not even three-point field? What? She's getting creamed. She's getting absolutely crushed for this shit. Bro, out of shape, Adam just dunked, just got dunked on. Holy shit. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> this is hilarious. You know, but yeah, here's a little, damn, Adam, you got a reply from Angel Reese from hating. You're doing better than me. All I do is show her love every day, and I never get one response. One follow back, one like. You're goaded. Folks, this is hilarious. But this is the type of shit that is just absolutely crazy that she would actually respond to this. But she needs attention. This is what an attention seeking person is. They got to find a way to grab attention. Don't worry, Angel. We'll be watching you play Unrivaled in the first weekend and see if you can make layups then. But until then, you're best staying off. Twitter and, and, and asking questions about your skills and, you know, trying to pull, post receipts because understand that the receipts that you post can be posted back because right now, just so you're aware right now, LSU, the college team that you grad, that you just left, that you left last year, right now, they just won that. They just won today over NC state by 17. They're eight and oh without you. Without you, Kalaje Johnson was five of seven for 16 points. Talk about efficient. She's averaging 23 a game this year, seven and a half boards, 53% shooting. They didn't need you at LSU. They're better without you now. But hey, you do you. All the best. Looking forward to watching you on Unrivaled, but. I'm sure at some point between now and then you'll talk, you'll say something else stupid that will grab attention. But yeah, let me know your, let me know your thoughts on what uh, on her comments back to this guy Adam and using 39% as a flex. Oh boy, this is Rudy's rant facts and feelings. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell, become a member. Appreciate y'all. Come on now.